Good evening, everyone. Happy Saturday night. I know this is normally a night when you would be going out somewhere, but this is, things are a little bit different this week, but we're excited to share some music with you once again. As you know, of course, we're Laura Dubin and Antonio Guerrero, and it's been so much fun um, playing these mini concerts for you every night this week during this quarantine, and we're going to continue doing it for as long as we possibly can. Um, we are going to start tonight with a piece that we love to play at our live performances called Hispanic Dance. And this is composed by a French pianist and composer named Claude Bowling. And this actually comes from a suite that he wrote for classical guitar and jazz trio, but we're going to play it just the two of us.
called Hispanic Dance, composed by Claude Bowling. If you're just joining us tonight, thank you so much for being here. And I saw a comment um, pop up from Lisa Mancini a couple minutes hey, ago. Hey, Lisa. Lisa. Hello, hey, Frank. Lisa. Hey, Bobby. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. Too bad we can't see each other in person, but it's nice kind of seeing you, at least through the through the internet. Thank <laughs> That's you our for only the and the beautiful video. Yes, thank you. Thank, thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Frank. Little shout out for you guys. Lisa Mancini is a wonderful photographer and Frank, her husband, is a wonderful videographer and they actually both recently collaborated with us when we performed at Jazz 90.1 um, on the radio last month. And we should actually put their videos and photos up on this projector yes. sometime soon. That would be super cool. We can collaborate here on these little home concerts. So um, thank you for being here. Um, as you know, it's a really hard time for us all and for musicians in particular, all of our live performances are canceled right now um, indefinitely. Venues are closed, music venues are closed, restaurants are closed, um, private events are, are canceled. So this is such a great way for us to be able to continue sharing our music with you. We just love playing so much and music is really the best thing that we have to get us through this hard time, no matter what happens. And we really appreciate having an opportunity to share our music with you during this time. And I'd like to say thank you to everybody who sent us a nice message this week or left a comment on our videos. Um, your kind words just really mean the world to us and we so appreciate you being here and uh, your encouragement just really helps us to keep going. If you'd like to support us, um, feel free to make a donation through my website. There's a link right in the video here at the top of the page. Um, you can either make a donation, there are different suggested amounts that you can choose from or you can adjust the amount using the quantity or you can download all of our albums. We've got seven albums that you can choose from, and that's right on the same page. And I would like to thank everybody who's donated or purchased albums this week. Um, just out of um, respect for people's privacy, I won't mention names now, but I just wanna mention that we really appreciate your support during this critical time. We truly can't thank you enough, and we're happy to be able to share our music with you. And if it's kind of, if I know this is a difficult time for all of us, and if you, don't have the means to support us financially right now. We still really um, are glad that you're here watching this. We appreciate you just taking the time to listen to our music and that is just wonderful support for us as well. So thank you all. Hope you're uh, enjoying yourselves this week in spite of everything that's going on. Maybe you're finding new ways to spend time with your family. Maybe you didn't have that kind of time before. Um, I know this is all uncharted territory for all of us, but I think we'll all get through it together. We'd like to continue with a piece that was made popular by Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers. It was actually composed by the saxophonist Wayne Shorter during his time playing with the Jazz Messengers. And this is a really fun piece of music to play. It's called One by One.
That was a tune called One by One, composed by the legendary saxophonist Wayne Shorter and made famous by Art Blakey and the Jazz Messengers. Thanks so much for joining us. Um, if you're listening, feel free to leave a comment and say hello and let us know what part of the world, or if you're on another planet, <laughs> let us know where you're watching from, whether you're in Rochester or on the other side of the country or any anywhere else. Um, Georgia. 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 Is Bajo watching? Bajo. <laughs> Romania. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> That's the really cool thing about the internet is that we can literally transmit our music just about anywhere in the world. It's a pretty powerful tool that we have. So um, feel free to leave a comment and say hello. And if you have any pictures on your camera roll or um, on your computer or whatever device you're watching from, if there are any photos that you've taken or that you have on your device that bring you joy or happiness or peace, um, especially during this time right now, feel free to leave them in the comments here um, as I'm gathering happy photos to use for another video project later this week. Um, some people left some on my page yesterday and I so appreciate that. It's really fun seeing everything and um, it just brought a smile to my face. So thank you to those of you who have shared your photos so far. Um, feel free to leave them in the comments right here if you'd like. We're going to continue with another piece of music now. Actually, these are two pieces of music by Frederick Chopin. And we um, originally just played one of them, the Minute Waltz. Um, and a couple years ago, we added another piece to our repertoire. Uh, the official title of the Minute Waltz is Waltz Opus 64, number one. And the second piece we combine it with is Waltz Opus 64, number two. The Minute Waltz is in C sharp major, and the other one is in C sharp minor. So we actually switch them around. We play the second one first, and the first one second, because we just think it should end on a major note. So we hope you enjoy these two Chopin waltzes.
those were two waltzes by Frédéric Chopin. The first was Waltz Opus 64, number two, and we file, followed that with Waltz Opus 64, number one, also known as the Minute Waltz. And contrary to popular belief, it's not called the Minute Waltz because you're supposed to play it in one minute, because that's pretty much impossible, even if you were like the fastest pianist in the entire world. It's actually supposed to be called the Minute Waltz, which just means little waltz, but it's more fun to call it the Minute Waltz. But I remember watching some video in, uh, I think it was maybe fourth grade music class. It was this animated uh, cartoon about this kid who wanted to become a real piano virtuoso. And there was this part where he had this like dream where he said, I'm gonna perform the Minute Waltz in half a minute. <laughs> For some reason, I've like always remembered that video my whole <laughs> whole life. <laughs> really made me want to learn this piece of music, I guess. Oscar Peterson. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oscar Peterson could probably play that in a minute, or Art Tatum. <laughs> so actually speaking of, this is kind of related to Oscar Peterson, not exactly, but um, I'll explain the connection in a minute. The next piece we'd like to play is by one of my favorite pianists named Benny Green. And we've seen him perform several times at the Rochester Jazz Festival. I also saw him at the Detroit Jazz Festival years ago um, with the trio. And I just, all his live performances were so memorable. And um, I always just really gravitated to his sound on the piano because he just has so much joy in his playing. And he's such a master of swing and just like in the infectiousness of the swing rhythm and the swing style of music. And I know that he was highly influenced by Oscar Peterson, which is why I mentioned that connection a minute ago. Um, and so when I first heard him and I heard how much Oscar Peterson influence he had on him, that really kind of perked up my ears because of course Oscar is the reason I became a jazz pianist. Of course, Benny Green really has a style all his own. I could just hear that influence. Um, and I know that Oscar was a mentor of his. Um, but this piece is a composition of his and it's dedicated to another mentor that he had named Walter Davis Jr. This piece of music is called Humphrey, so I'm going to assume that Humphrey must have been uh, a nickname of Walter Davis, or maybe it was his middle name. I don't know the whole story. I just, um, I'm aware that that's who this piece is dedicated to. And it's so much fun to play. Um, I first heard it on his album called Testifying with Carl Allen on drums and Christian McBride on the bass. Um, it's a live album they recorded at the Village Vanguard, I think in the 90s. And every single piece of music on that album is just so swinging. You can't sit still while listening to it. And this is one of my favorite tracks from this album, Humphrey. And it's also, you can also hear it on an album he released um, maybe last year or two years ago called Then and Now. Thank 
a piece called Humphrey by the great pianist and composer Benny Green. We've got a couple more pieces of music to share with you tonight. And I know that um, maybe not everybody has seen this video from the beginning. Um, some of you might now just be tuning in. So I'd like to say this message again, um, just as I did earlier. And for those of you who already heard it, thank you for bearing with me as I kind of repeat it again. It's been kind of a difficult time for musicians now because all of our live performance opportunities are really gone with venues uh, closing, restaurants closing, and private events being canceled as none of us are really allowed to gather in large groups. So it would really mean the world to us if you're enjoying our music tonight, if you'd head on over to lauradubin.com, there's a link to my website right on this video, and you can either make a donation, any amount that you'd like. There are several suggested amounts that you can choose from, but you can adjust your amount to your liking. Or you can also purchase all of our albums as digital downloads. You can order CDs as well, but I think during this time, um, the download is probably the easiest and fastest way um, to hear our music. We've got seven albums for you to choose from, so we've got plenty of music to get you through this quarantine period. Um, so we'd really appreciate your support if you can. And once again, I'd like to say a huge thank you to everybody who's supported us so far this week. Um, ever since we started making this announcement a few days ago in our videos, we've really had a lot of support come through, and we appreciate it so much. And if you're unable to make a donation or help us out financially at this time, we still appreciate you watching our videos and listening to our music. It really means a lot to us to be able to share our music with you during this time and just to be able to have an audience even if it's through the internet and not in real life um, is a really special thing for us and we just appreciate all your kind words um, all the kind messages that you've sent us this week it's really just given us a lot of hope and desire to continue doing what we love to do the most and um, especially during this kind of dark time now music is really helping us cope and we hope that it's bringing you some joy as well um, so thank you so much. Um, we'd like to play another piece by Cod Bowling. We played Hispanic dance earlier, and this next one comes from his same piece of music, the suite that he composed for classical guitar and jazz trio. This is a piece called Afrikan, or it might be pronounced like African. <laughs> Thank you. 
watching this I forgot that I was gonna I'm gonna play this again I was gonna mention something about these pictures behind us so these are all the album covers or some some of the album covers of Claude Bowling's um, records and I just think they're the greatest album cover designs I've ever seen I mean yeah, look at that a piece of art. yeah there I just want to hit look two pianos riding a bicycle how adorable <laughs> is that it's there the ice cream one is probably coming in a second I just I need to find out who did the artwork for these albums, but kudos to you, whoever you are. Um, picnic, little picnic there. <laughs> oh, this is my favorite. They're baking, baking a cake. So sweet. Let's see. Oh, looks like one instrument is being serenaded by another instrument. Oh, there we go. Uh oh. Cover your eyes, kids. <laughs> <laughs> There's one more coming that I love. Where is it? I think it's right after this. There we go. You know what? I just realized that the screen wasn't actually on them the whole time. I, I hope well, that I hope that you all saw that because this thing is is uh, flipping around between us. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, is, but is it the shot? Then? Yeah. The well, there? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's say that yeah. hopefully you saw at least the, my favorite ones. We there. really proved it. The, yeah. The, the <laughs> this is all new, all new for us. So I mean, I know this. Uh, everything we're going through right now is just a new experience for everybody, and I know it's not only difficult for us as musicians. I know there are challenges for everybody, no matter what situation uh, you're in. Um, maybe it's a financial situation, or maybe if not that, just kind of learning how to adjust to this new reality. Everything's just changing now. Um, but we do feel confident that we'll all pull through together. It seems like, um, ironically, even though that nobody's allowed to see each other right now, it does seem like people it's uh, bringing people together more than ever before. People seem to be uniting over the fact that um, we can't go anywhere and see each other in person. Um, I can't imagine living through this time before social media. Um, imagine if this was like 100 years ago or not even, just 20 years ago. It would be completely different. Um, so before we play our last tune, just I'd like to thank you all once again for watching and listening tonight. And one more time, if you're enjoying our music and um, you're able to either make a donation or purchase our albums as a digital download, you can feel free to hop on over to lauradubin.com. There's a link to my website right in this video. And if you're unable to do that at this time, we still appreciate you watching. Um, if you have some time, like after the Yeah, I was just, face, just about to mention that. Them. Yeah, so and s after we play our last tune, I'm not going to stop the video immediately tonight. I'd like to just uh, look through the um, – the I saw a couple comments pop up while we were playing, so I'd just like to look through those for a minute and say hello to everybody out there. Um, so without further ado, our last piece is kind of an epic arrangement. This is Mozart's Rondo a la Turk, but it's our own kind of everything but the kitchen sink sort of arrangement. It goes through all different styles of swing and uh, jazz and bebop, and I would like to think that Mozart would enjoy it if he heard it. So <laughs> hope you enjoy.
Thank you so much for watching tonight. We're Laura Dubin and Antonio Guerrero. And if you're enjoying our music, um, please tune in again every week. We um, start around 8 or 9 p.m. Every uh, day. Every day. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking we're Sounds doing it. We're aspects. doing it every week forever Sounds now. Like old fashioned kind yeah. of music life. Exactly. Yeah. Every day. <laughs> <laughs> now it's every day. Yeah. Every night we'll be doing these uh, little mini concerts. Um, if you're still watching, please leave a comment and say hello and let us know where you're joining us from. And I'm just going to kind of, ooh, going to kind of glance through here real quick. I saw some things popping up as we were playing. Oh, I don't know if Cecile's watching, but happy birthday, Cecile, happy if you birthday, are watching. <laughs> and Jack Garner. It's Jack Garner's birthday, too. Happy birthday, Jack. Not sure if you're watching right now. I think you might be traveling, but maybe you'll see this when you arrive home. Lisa, thank you so much for sharing our video. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Lisa. Yeah, we really appreciate it so much. And we would love to do a kind of photo collaboration with you um, this week. That would be super fun. I'll have to send you a, a message about that. Ma, thank you so much. Your mom. My mom. Yeah, Mommy. thank you so much for watching and for sharing. Let's see. Oops. Ooh, that funny thing. <laughs> that funny thing happened again. Ooh, how do I pause this? This is like something from another universe, figuring out how to... Okay, it's hard for me to look at the comments without actually like hearing this in real time, but I see Donna was watching. Hi, Donna. Donna. Dave Boyer, hi. I'm going to hey, actually send you a we message about there, something, too. <laughs> some pictures. Yeah. 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 Or some so, drawing in the real time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm having a little bit of trouble seeing this right now. As the, as the nights go on, I'll figure out how to do this more smoothly while we're in the middle of the video. But um, I will catch up with all of you on, uh, on this message board right here. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful night. <laughs>